everyone! Today we're going to make this really cute little baby bonnet. You can make it in any size really. I'll go ahead and give you tips on how to do so in the um, video tutorial. So you can make it for a toddler, a child, a newborn, or even an adult. Now you can use any yarn and any hook you'd like that goes with the yarn. Um, you will just follow my pattern and follow my tips to make the size work out. But if you like to make exactly what I'm using here, um, I used a cotton bamboo yarn from the Lion Brand Collection. It's a lightweight three yarn. I used a six millimeter crochet hook and also a pair of scissors. This is a no-sew project, so you don't need to worry about using a yarn needle or anything like that. The bonnet's made completely in one piece. Um, everything is crocheted only. Alright, let's get started. Let's begin. You're going to start off with a magic ring. So you're going to loop the yarn around your finger like so. Insert your hook into the ring. Yarn over, pull out, Young, yarn over, pull out the loop again. That gets your magic ring set up. Now I'm going to slip it off my fingers like so. And I'm going to start with a chain two to give my round some height. Then I'm going to insert 12 double crochets into the magic ring. So this is going to be the first double crochet. Yarn over, insert, oops, insert into the ring. Here's my second double crochet. Third, and so forth. Keep going until you have 12 stitches. Excuse me, 12 double crochets. The chain two that you used in the beginning of the round will not count as a stitch in the um, total end row, row end count. Now that you've put 12 double crochets into your magic ring, you're going to go ahead and pull your ring tight to close it, like so. And then you're going to insert your hook into the very first double crochet that you made, not the chain two, but in the double crochet. And we are going to join the round by pulling a slip stitch through, like so. So that closes up my ring. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into round two. Start with that starting chain two, not a stitch. Then insert your hook into the first stitch and make a double crochet. We're increasing all the way around, so you're gonna put two into the same stitch. In the next stitch, you're also going to put two double crochets. And increase in that next one as well by putting two double crochets in the same stitch and all the way around. Now that you're at the very end of the round, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the very first double crochet that you made. So find where that first double crochet is. Go ahead and insert your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through for a slip stitch, like so. Then we're gonna continue on. We're going to keep making the circle part uh, larger and larger. What it will do is create the crown of your hat, and this gives the height to how you want your um, beanie to be. So if I want the beanie to fit um, my daughter's current head, she's um, gonna be in like the 
she's an eight month old, so I will need it about um, five, six inches tall. So we'll be measuring this section of the um, circle. So in this next round, I'm gonna keep increasing because obviously this is too small. We're gonna have to make it white, white enough to fit the height of her head. So I'm gonna go to my next round, round three. It's a double crochet and then an increase in the next stitch. So remember, increase means to put two double crochets in the same stitch. Then we're repeating that all the way around. So here, I'm gonna do just one double crochet. In the next one, I'm gonna do two. That's my increase. Then it's one double crochet again. And then two. Again, you're going to work this all the way around the circle. And at the end, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the very first double crochet. We'll meet back when that's done. Here I've completed round three. As you can see, my circle is growing. Now this height is still not um, tall enough for my daughter's head, so I'm gonna keep going and expanding. Um, you're going to continue this pattern of increases. So for the first, <clears throat> so for round three, you did one double crochet increase. For round four, you're going to do two double crochets and an increase. That's my starting chain two. And now here's two double crochets. and an increase in my next stitch. Now you're going to continue working that all the way around. Two double crochets, and then an increase. Two double crochets, and then an increase. Here is round four of my hat made. I'm going to make it um, one round larger because it's not quite big enough yet. So I'm gonna keep going up. That's gonna be chain two, and then double crochet three stitches. One, two, three and then increase in the next stitch. And repeat that around. So we'll meet back when round five is done. Here is my hat so far after finishing round five. At this point, um, I'm going to measure it and see if it's the target height I'd like it to be. From top, to bottom it's five inches and that is perfect because for my um size for the size i'm looking to do it would be six to twelve months and the height to aim for is five and a half inches now i don't want to go all the way up to five and a half or over i want to go a little bit under because um you, we will be adding a slight a bit more of a height due to the bottom edging of the hat and um, going around for the, um, the length of the hat. So aim to go a little bit under the target height. Now, if you look at my hat sizing and me measurements chart, which I'll link below, um, you will see the breakdown for the size and the, um, the head measurements for that. So go ahead and take a look to see how far you should go for the height of your hat. If you need to add additional rounds, simply do the chain two and then go around and increase. Remember for round five, we did three double crochets, increase. For round six, we'll do four double crochets and increase all the way around. Round seven, five double crochets and increase. Round eight, um, six double crochets and increase, etc. All right. So let's go ahead and work on the next part of the hat. Here is the transition section from the height of the hat to the length of the hat. And I'll kind of show you what that's going to look like here. 
So um, we just worked on the height of the hat, which is this section here. Now we're going to be working on the length and this will tell us um, how long the hat is. We are going to do one round of transition to help us go between working this way to working this way. So now for this part, we're going to chain two and we're basically going to double crochet around. Now we're going to leave just a few stitches at the very end. Those stitches will be going towards, um, will be fitted towards the nape of the neck. And I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. So again, here simply double crochet around. Alright, so I just finished the transition round. As you can see, I've double crocheted um, around most of the hat, but in the end, I left a few stitches unworked. This part, this bottom part, will actually be where your um, where the wearer's neck would be. So you can leave a few stitches unworked here. Um, your option is to leave an even number of stitches if you want to do the lacy trim I'm about to do, or if you want to do um, simply double crochets for this bonnet only, then you can leave any number unworked. I chose to leave six stitches unworked because I want to do an even number for the lacy trim. And you can do the same if you like. Now, you don't want to leave this too wide. Um, you can leave, you can even leave no stitches if you want to. It will just create more of a floppy look for the bottom edges. So up to you, but um, I choose to leave a little bit here. Now for the next round, we're going to start doing the height of the hat. And actually, we're no longer going to be working in rounds. We're going to be working in rows. So here's how you do it. Start with chain two, and you're gonna turn your piece. Now, if you want to keep working the double crochet stitch, you're welcome to do so and do double crochets all the way around to the very end, then stop. Then chain two, turn, and then work around and double crochets again. Um, however, instead of doing double crochets, I'm going to show you a nice lacy um, textured look. That's also quite simple to do. And you can choose to do this if you want to give your bonnet a little bit of texture. So that's what I use here for this bonnet. As you can see, there's this lovely uh, lacy kind of look going on. And I'm going to achieve that with this as well. So here's how to do it. After you chain two and turn, you're going to insert a half double crochet into the very first stitch. Like so. Skip a stitch and then single crochet, double crochet in the same stitch. We're going to do that again. Skip a stitch and then single crochet and double crochet in that same stitch. We're going to repeat that around, so skip a stitch, then single crochet and double crochet in the same stitch. Skip a stitch, single crochet, double crochet in the same stitch. You're going to do that all the way around, and when you reach the end, insert just a half double crochet in the last stitch. So at the very end here, I'm going to insert simply a half double crochet in the last stitch. And we're done. Now, that round was the first round we did for the length of the hat. And as you can see, it's going to give a textured look that's different from the double crochets you've made. 
Now, for the um, rest of the hat here, we're going to simply do the same thing as that row. We're going to chain two, half double crochet in the very first stitch, skip a stitch, and then single crochet and double crochet in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that around. So skip a stitch, single crochet and double crochet in the same stitch. And all the way around, when you reach the end, you're going to simply repeat that for the next round and keep going until you reach the desired height of your hat. Here's a look at my bonnet thus far. I've gone ahead and repeated this, um, these rows back and forth, and I've gone up to round 16. As you can see, it provides some really nice texture for the um, length part of your bonnet. And um, I have decided that I wanna stop here at round 16, row 16, excuse me, because my bonnet now measures about, um, Oops, wrong way, from zero to here, about six inches um, lengthwise. So um, that will be a good length for my eight month old to wear. What you're gonna do after you reach the length you want um, is to fasten off, and then you will go ahead and um, start putting on the strap portion. Now for this part, we're going to actually turn the piece upside down like so. So you're gonna have, um, here's your hood, you're gonna have the bottom edge of the hood facing up or away from you. And we're gonna go ahead and make these straps. So I'm gonna start off with um, a long chain of 40 chains. And again, you can um, make as many chains as you want. If you want a longer strap, go ahead and do that. And here I'm gonna do 40, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now um, I like the length of my strap, so I'm going to stop there at 40. Then I'm going to get my hood, and we're going to go ahead and join to the very corner of the hood. We're basically going to go across the bottom edge to the other side of the strap. So there's going to be no sewing involved for this part at all. All you have to do is join your hook to one end of the one corner of the hood. And here I'm gonna just single crochet across. So going into each stitch here, I'm going to basically just um, single crochet So here's a look at it so far. Um, I've joined the strap and I'm single crocheting along the bottom. We want to go all the way to the very end to the other corner. So I'm going to keep going until I reach that end. All right, so here you are going across to the very end. Um, after you've done that and single crocheted all the way across the bottom edge of the bonnet, you're gonna now make the second strap. 
and you'll want it to be the same number of chains as your first strap. So um, my first strap was 40 chains. So I'm gonna do the same here in chain 40. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and forty. All right, and once you get there, you're basically going to just go back and slip stitch into each of these. Oh, excuse me. We do want to add one more chain. So that's 41 chains total. And then we're going to go back into the second chain from the hook and slip stitch back. So in each of these chains, I'm going to do a slip stitch. And what that does is it makes our straps a little bit more, um, uh, just gives it a little bit more thickness, making it easier to use as ties. I also like the look of this a lot better um, as opposed to just chains because the chains can get a little flimsy looking. So simply go back um, here doing a slip stitch in each of these chains. Alright, once you've gone all the way to the end, you'll notice that your strap is a little thicker than how it was as a chain. Here's the finished strap, here's the chain strap. And we're gonna go ahead and turn your beanie, excuse me, your bonnet around. So this is the back side. Um, here's the hooded part. I'm just flipping it upside down so here's the back side and we're basically going to single crochet across um, back across this bottom edge to the strap so we're going to um, now go and do one single crochet in each of these stitches All right, so now that you've um, single crocheted across the bottom edge of the hat a second time, you'll see that you're going to come back to that first strap. All you're gonna do now is do the same as you did for the second strap, which is to go into each of these chains and basically slip stitch. So I'm just going to kind of wiggle in uh, here and slip stitch. And you'll do these for each of the chains across. We'll meet back when this um, last part is complete. Once you reach the very end, you'll just fasten off and tie the ends together. You can weave them in if you like, and then you are all done with your bonnet. So that's that for um, this really easy baby bonnet. As you can see, it doesn't take much time at all to work up the crown. 
that transition round and then the um, length of the hat. And you can easily customize it to um, fit any size head you'd like. And um, what's awesome is that since the um, pattern is so versatile, you can also use any yarn you'd like and any size hook that goes with the yarn. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you really enjoyed this project and happy crocheting. Bye now.